Right, okay, great. So we've looked at the sales variance. The next variance we're looking at now, we're moving <clears throat> nicely into um, focusing on production. So as I said earlier on, with production, um, we cannot continue to compare things um, with what the budgeted number of units would, we thought would be because that we had no control over that. So with production, we need to focus on the actual number of units but we're not just we're not particularly interested so much in just the actual number of it. we're really interested in the inputs this is really about inputs this is an input business here so material variances are very much about inputs um so really ultimately from a, a single unit point of view we expect to use we expect to use a certain amount of input and to buy those inputs at a certain amount we want to see and understand what the deviations are from that um, from that plan and in exactly the same way we're going to analyze that I mean we have the formulas here but I will explain this using the, the graph in a second we're going to use this this story of James Marshall and here we have James Marshall makes a single product the following budgeted this is the plan so to make a product James needs two kilograms of raw material and each of these kilograms should cost ten dollars now again you can see what we're doing here is again we're almost breaking up responsibility into um, what the assuming there is a purchasing manager and there is a production manager if you like sorry yes a purchasing manager and a production manager so someone who actually manages the actual usage of the raw material and here we're really looking, trying to focus on someone who um, buys in, buys in the raw material. So let's see what we're saying here. So he makes a single product with this following budgeted material cost per unit. And that is um, two kilograms of material here at $10 per kilogram. So this is what he actually comes out with. He comes out with a thousand units. Again, like I said, the focus is very much on inputs. So just looking at it, just just looking at it, we expect him to use well. If he's to, if we expect him to use two kilograms for each unit, we expect him to therefore use two kilograms times a thousand units. So we expect him to use two thousand kilograms to make a thousand units, and we expect him to spend ten pound on on each kilogram. So therefore, if he's bought two thousand kilograms, sorry, if he's bought because he's bought 2,200 kilograms. So therefore, the question here is we expect him to use, we expect him to spend 10 pounds on each of those kilograms. That's kind of the scenario here. This we will judge in terms of usage, but in terms of pricing, we just want to compare. We expect him to use 10 pounds, but he spent he spent this on, on buying this. So we can we can work out how much he actually spent on each kilogram, 20,900 divided by 2,200. And I'm going to do the. I'm just. I'm just kind of just thinking conceptually, so that. But I'm going to go to the graphs in a second. But twenty thousand nine hundred. Twenty thousand nine hundred. I mean, you don't have to do it like this. You could. You, all you had to do was, do, like I said, you could have done ten, the ten times two thousand, and so basically, two times ten, and compare that to twenty thousand nine hundred. So if you like, that's twenty-two thousand. And then take the difference, and that's your variance. But also, I could have gone backwards and found out how much he should have spent on each kilogram, which is exactly the same thing, two thousand two hundred. So he should have spent nine pound fifty on each. Sorry, he spent nine pound fifty on each kilogram because he he, he paid twenty thousand nine hundred for two two thousand two hundred kilograms. But we expected him to spend ten pounds. So you can see here again this question of of did he buy cheaper material, and we ended up using more. Or did we get a discount and he still ended up using more? At least we can ask questions, um, ask coherent, coherent questions. So let's look at that. Let's look at these variances here. So again, we expected him to use, um, like I said, to make a thousand units. So the aim here is to make a thousand units. Um, let's just look, first of all, it says here that we expected him to use so we expected him to use two kilograms per unit so therefore we expected him to use 2000 kilograms in terms of volume he used 2200 so we have a variance of 200 
Now, we expected him to use um, 2,000 kilograms, and if you like, we expected him, if you like, um, so again, coming back to this idea of separating out volume and price, standard price he should pay, he should have bought each kilogram for 10 pound, and we expected him to use 2,000 kilograms. So just focusing on volume first, he's used 200 kilograms more. So that the variance here really is this 200 times, if you like, the 10. Oops, sorry. <laughs> that. Um, he should have spent... Um, he should have spent... <clears throat> What's the word? He should have spent ten pounds on the two hundred. Well, that's the variance. Two hundred kilograms times ten. So the volume variance adverse is two hundred times ten pounds, which is two thousand. Now, like I said earlier on, what what? So we've moved from here, if you like, to here. But it also says that he actually saved 50p. If you remember, we calculated that. He actually, because he said he spent 2,900 on the 2,200 kilograms. So he actually spent £9.50 on each kilogram. So he said if he, he literally saved 50p on all the kilograms he bought. I mean, this is my new curve, ultimately. So we started here. So I I've, I've first worked out volume, and then... Um, and then we've now kind of now taken into consideration that he's bought more. So, so he's bought more. He's saved 50p on all the kilograms. But it's the, it's the variance, it's the difference I'm interested in, which is the 50p times 2,200 kilograms. So basically 50p on 2,200 kilograms. So 50p times 2,200 kilograms is 1,000 100 pounds so what we have here is yes he saved so we have a favorable variance of 1100 which is a favorable variance but here we have an adverse variance of 2000 pounds because of course he ended up buying more so overall we have a <clears throat> if you like an adverse variance of 2000 minus the favorable variance of 1100 which ends up being a 900 pound adverse variance. So overall, if you like, I mean, this is, we would have gotten 900 in our answer when we just worked out what happened here. Uh, we would have gotten 900. But <clears throat> um, the question really is, is that we, we're interested in the breakup of that variance, in the breakup of that variance. So what's the thing you have to do? First of all, focus on volume. Or it doesn't matter, focus on price, it doesn't really matter. But the key point here is that um, try and hone in on, on what's causing this. That's what we're trying to understand so we can better um, make better, we can make better decisions. Mm -hmm. So, sorry, actually, it should be 2,900. Sorry, what am I doing here? This is not, not 22. So, just kind of bringing it back to what happened. You spent 20,900 pounds on making these units. We were expecting you to spend, well, we we're expecting you to use, um, to use 2,000 kilograms and to spend 10 pounds. And that would have been 20,000. So we would see a 900, which is the difference between this and this. We would have seen a 900 pound adverse variance. What we're, all we're doing is trying to understand what's causing that difference, what that, what that's made up of. And that's made up of two things, a volume variance, probably. So I suspect what's happened here is that you have gone along and bought cheaper material, saved 50p, got to here, really realized you actually need to buy more because, you you know, it was cheaper material. So just think of whatever, cement or something along those lines. So you're using more and therefore um, buying more material as a result of um, cheaper, cheaper quality. Or it might be you got a discount, so this is perfectly good quality material, and you just had inefficient laborers who didn't know how to use material more. So at least the key point again is that we can investigate. Okay, great stuff. So this is the material price and volume.